Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Mr. HG here bringing you a multi battle here with Terra, Becca, and Dustin. Terra's coming in with Furfrow, Tyranitar, and Cresselia. Becca's coming in with Dialga, Groudon, and Lugia. I'm coming in with Garchomp, Florges, and Suicune. And Dustin's coming in with Sky Shaman, Genesect, and Medicham. Let's see how this battle turns out, guys. Alright, gotta start off with some epic music to begin this battle. So looking at this team, you already know we're going to have some issues here. Beck and Terra strong competitors. Lugia comes out and Sailor Moon who has to be the Cresselia. I mean, look at that thing. And they're both shiny. They look amazing. So good props to these two for raising those awesome pokes. Here comes that shiny Sky Shaman. All right, Shaman go ahead, goes ahead and starts us off with this Air Slash. And you want to talk about hacks that happen here. Just wait and see. I get this Dragon Claw off on Sailor Moon get a little bit of damage because I've got life orb on. Lugia flinches because of that air slash. Oh man. Alright, I get this ice beam. That nearly takes me out immediately. And then Cresselia gets this, um, <laughs> Cresselia goes ahead and gets his leftovers. Uh, we got another air slash towards Lugia and uh, more hacks coming. I go ahead and run Iron Head hoping for the flinch on Sailor Moon. <laughs> Before I even do that, I realize that Life Orb is going to take me out, so it's like, great. That didn't help. Lugia flinches, and Sailor Moon uses Ice Beam on my partner, which is going to be super effective. Luckily, Shaman survives, though. So Lugia with two flinches right back to back. It's not setting up really well. All right, I go ahead and send in my Suicune next. I fear I can go ahead and get some good damage here on Lugia, probably. All right, get that pressure going. And Shaman uses Seed Flare. <laughs> seed Flare all over Lugia. Okay, it's not very effective. It does drop Lugia's special defense. Lugia flinches again. <laughs> I get this Calm Mind up. I figure let's go ahead and strengthen up. Because I don't think any of these two can really do much damage to me. So raise that special attack, special defense. And then Cresselia runs Moonlight. Ugh, Moonlight. Stall Cresselia. That's okay. Moonlight, Sailor Moon, get it. It all makes sense. <laughs> Alright, so Sailor Moon recovers here. And Shaman uses Air Slash again on the Lugia. <laughs> Nearly takes Lugia out. Lugia gets the light screen up. So it's like, great. Now it's going to make it that much harder. So I'm going to go ahead and get this Ice Beam off. That's enough to take out Lugia. Thank goodness I should have done that the last turn. We wouldn't have to worry about light screen. But that's okay. Sailor Moon runs Toxic, and that gets that Toxic on my Swing Coon. That gets the Toxic on my Swing Coon. I'm badly poisoned. I'm thinking right now, if I can just speed through this, I can take out all her pokes, and it doesn't matter the fact that I'm Toxic. Groudon comes in. It's a shiny Groudon. Gets that sunlight going, or it gets that drought going. So, um, yeah, that's no bueno. But we got another Seed Flare here by Sky Shaman. <laughs> It hits Groudon and actually hits him really hard. It's super effective. I run an Ice Beam right on that Groudon. And guess what? Groudon, goodbye. No move, Groudon. Look at that. I love it when his Groudon goes down. His head's just like, oh, why me? <laughs> All right, anyways, we have an Ice Beam by Cresselia. That takes out Sky Shaman, finally, who's amazing, by the way. I'm taking my Poison Recoil damage. So right now, I'm thinking, well, if we can just go ahead and take out this one side on this side, we, are, we can all gang up on uh, Terra's pokes. Um, so in comes the Dialga. And Dialga proves stronger than we thought. It's a shiny Dialga at that, so it's like, great. What is up with all these shinies? Anyways, we get this flamethrower off on Sailor Moon. I'm not sure why it was done to Sailor Moon, but it was. We go ahead and run Ice Beam on Dialga. It does a decent amount of damage. Here comes Aura Sphere. Oh, and oh my goodness, Aura Sphere hits my guy. I'm able to survive it, but Trick Room goes in effect. Trick Room. So now, reverse all the rules there. Last goes first, first goes last. Unless you got a priority attack. So now it becomes a little tricky here. And I get my Toxic damage still. So now Toxic's really starting to take a toll. Here comes an Ice Beam by the Cresselia. It goes to Genesect. It doesn't really hurt him much because he's a still type. Here comes Roar of Time, which ignores defenses, really. And it goes straight towards me. And just like that, my Suicune is done. Ugh. Done like that. Alright. Well, Genesect, 
this time goes for flamethrower on Dialga, which is good. <laughs> Sailor Moon gets that leftovers damage recovery. So Dialga is sitting here with half his health. Sailor Moon and Terra has all three of her pokes. I send in Florges. Here comes a Toxic on my Florges. So now I'm like, great, I'm Toxic. What am I going to do? I'm going to Moonblast. That's what I'm going to do. Moonblast on this Dialga. That hurts Dialga, but it's still not enough to take him out, but it does lower his special attack. Dialga has to recharge. Here comes a flamethrower by Genesect, and the flamethrower is enough to take out Dialga. So now we're sitting here facing Terra. Terra with three pokes. How are we going to handle Terra? Well, you'll just find out here. Light screen wears off, which is going to help us out a lot more. Nice Beam comes in. That hits Genesect. Genesect resists it because it's not very effective. I run Aromatherapy in case she uh, decided to do anything else, any more shenanigans. That cures me of Toxic. So now we get Flamethrower by Genesect. I'm not exactly sure why Genesect is running Flamethrower, unless it's to get the most out of the sunlight. But um, yeah, <laughs> the drought, I'm not sure why. All right, anyways, she withdraws Genesect. Or my partner withdraws Genesect and brings out Medicham, which could be a good move, could be a bad move. All right, so Medicham comes out, runs Ice Beam. That's going to hit me, but it's not going to damage me much. And luckily for me, I've got my red card, which gives us a little chance here. It sends out that Cresselia, and in comes Tyranitar. Tyranitar is going to go ahead and get the sand up here. And now we're just sitting here like, can we survive the sand and take out all his pokes, her pokes? So we're going to go ahead and run Moon Blast. thinking it's going to do a lot of damage. It does because it's super effective, but it, like, barely did a dent. <laughs> now, um, T-Tar is specially defensive, usually. Now, the Dimensions uh, switch back to normal. She's switching out her T-Tar because she realized she's at a disadvantage here, a double disadvantage. It sends out Furfrow. Luckily for us, <laughs> we've got Mega Medicham coming in here. Boom, baby. There goes Mega Medicham. And Mega Medicham absolutely destroys destroys Furfra with this Drain Punch. Look at that. Takes out Serefio just like that. Wow. You can't ask for better there. Alright, Medicham is hurt by Rocking Helmet, but that's really not going to matter much. So now we're looking at Tyranitar, and we're looking at the Sailor Moon Pope, the Cresselia. <laughs> Alright, so Florges is uh, buffeted by the Sandstorm, and so is Medicham. In comes Sailor Moon. She figures she's going to go ahead and just stall us out here. And not only that, both of our posts are susceptible to Toxic. So if she can do that and survive, she's good to go. So we get an Ice Punch and a Moon Blast. That takes Sailor Moon down to halfway. And then she gets Trick Room up, which means she's going to get the next move first. Alright, here comes that Sandstorm, which buffets Sailor Moon further. So we're so close to taking out Sailor Moon. I get buffeted. Medicham gets buffeted. Everybody gets buffeted. Uh, this battle was long because of all the buffets. <laughs> Alright, anyways. We would draw Medicham. Just like that. And he sends out Genesect. So now I'm sitting here thinking, please tell me Genesect has some kind of move that's going to work. Like a bug attack, maybe? Take out the Cresselia. Cresselia runs Moonlight. Now I'm sitting here burying my head like, why? Why would you do that? Why are you so cruel? <laughs> I get this Moon Blast off. It's going to do a decent amount of damage. And by the way, that Sandstorm keeps the uh, Moonlight from healing all the way. So there goes the Buffet there. Now I get Buffeted. And um, yeah, Genesect's not going to get Buffeted because he's a Steel type. Alright, now here comes a move that I expected a long time ago. Okay, so Moon gets this Ice Beam off first on me. That's not going to do that much. I get my Moon Blast off on Sailor Moon, but here's where it comes in. And oh my goodness, it's about time. U-turn, bug type move, coming straight towards the Psychic. Finally takes out Sailor Moon. It's super effective. Sailor Moon faints. It's about time. <laughs> All right, so Dustin brings his new poke out, which is going to be Medicham again. And the last poke we have left is Tyranitar. So now all we have to do is worry about Tyranitar here. Okay, Boomy comes out. Boomy! Get that Boomy. Get that sand string back up. Now, unfortunately for Boomy, we've got double um, super effective people right here against Boomy. 
So Boomy Mega Evolves. He's got the Trick Room up, though, so he's probably going to get the first attack still. So Boomy uh, Medicham runs Fake Out first, which does a little bit of damage because he's Dark Titan, so it's not going to do much. But it does cause him to flinch. I get to run Moon Blast, which, as we saw earlier, only does about a quarter damage. So there's a quarter damage. It, it drops his special attack, which is good. It's exactly what we needed. All right, buffeted by the Sandstorm, both of us. Now this Tyranitar uses Earthquake, trying to get us both out here. And oh my goodness, I hang on, even with the crit hit. Thank goodness. Get this Moon Blast off, take Boomy down to a quarter of health, and watch as my, my partner finishes him off with a Drain Punch. So, heck of a multi-battle here, guys. Let me know what y'all think of that comment section. Um, yeah, <laughs> Boomy faints. And there's that battle. We defeat Becca and Terra. Good matchup here with Dustin, Terra, and Becca, guys. All right, guys. Later. And yeah, guys, if y'all want, why don't y'all go ahead and subscribe. Check out our Facebook. Check out my Twitter account. Feel free to join the GZ Army. And um, check out these playlists, guys. We've got Titanfall. We've got a playlist of all our live streams. And we've got some X and Y battles, guys. All right, guys. Take care.